On September 24, 2024, the U.S. Army announced its decision to award contracts for the development of new robotic systems under the second phase of the Small Multipurpose Equipment Transport SMET, program. American Rainmetal Vehicles and HDT Expeditionary Systems were selected to build prototypes of equipment-carrying robots, reflecting the Army's growing focus on leveraging robotic technologies in modern military operations. This marks a significant step in the evolution of battlefield robotics aimed at lightening the physical load on soldiers. The competition for this contract was intense, with several notable defense companies, including General Dynamics Land Systems GDLS, and Dural Hanwha and Teledyne Fleur, vying for the opportunity. GDLS had previously secured contracts in 2019 and 2020 to develop the first increment of SMET, which is already in service. Under the new phase, American Rainmetal and HDT will each produce eight prototypes at a cost of $22 million. According to Kyle Bruner, the Army's project manager for force projection, SMET Increment 2 is designed to address critical operational gaps, particularly by reducing the physical burdens placed on soldiers. By carrying heavier loads and enhancing autonomous capabilities, these robotic systems will significantly alleviate the fatigue and injuries associated with physically demanding missions. The first increment of SMET, a radio-controlled eight-wheeled platform, can transport up to 1,000 pounds of equipment and provide power for soldiers' electronic systems. This model has already proven effective in reducing soldier load, but Increment 2 aims to double the transport capacity to 2,000 pounds. Additionally, the next-generation SMET system will feature improved recharging capabilities, making it more self-sufficient in the field. One of the major advancements in SMET Increment 2 is its increased exportable power, which will be crucial for supporting unmanned aircraft systems US, and other power-hungry equipment. The new systems will also operate more quietly, reducing the risk of detection during missions. Furthermore, a wireless mesh communication network will be integrated into the system, enabling seamless communication between soldiers on the battlefield. The modular, open architecture of SMET Increment 2 is designed with future upgrades in mind, allowing for cost-effective improvements as technology advances. This flexibility ensures that the Army can continually enhance the platform to meet emerging operational needs. Following the prototyping and developmental testing phases, the U.S. Army intends to award a production contract for the SMET Increment 2, with plans to procure up to 2,195 systems by the end of 2027. This ambitious procurement goal underscores the Army's commitment to integrating robotic systems across its formations particularly within lighter units that can benefit the most from these load-carrying platforms. In parallel with the SMET program, the Army is working on developing robotic combat vehicles for heavy maneuver forces. However, the SMET is expected to be the primary robotic platform for lighter formations. According to Major General Glenn Dean, Head of Ground Combat Systems, the SMET offers significant value through ongoing experimentation and is set to become a crucial asset in the Army's modernization efforts. The award of these contracts to American Rainmetal Vehicles and HDT Expeditionary Systems highlights the Army's determination to stay at the forefront of technological advancements in military operations. The SMET Increment 2 promises to enhance soldier effectiveness by reducing physical strain, increasing operational autonomy, and integrating advanced communication systems. As the Army continues to explore the possibilities of robotic systems, Programs like SMET illustrate the increasing role that unmanned technologies will play in future combat scenarios. By combining cutting-edge robotics with modular design, the Army ensures that these systems will be adaptable to the evolving demands of warfare, providing critical support to soldiers on the battlefield for years to come.